Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So, as always on a Friday, we're having a detailed month ahead look ahead uh, with Japanese and CFSV2 models that are going to take us into the early part of the new year. So, we're heading to the beginning of 2020 in the uh, month ahead time frame. Uh, later on, we will have your week to 10 day video update. So, obviously, over the past couple of days, I've just been gradually beginning to build up the uh, videos again. I'd have to take a few days off um, for illness at the end of last week. So we're just beginning to build up the uh, updates, but uh, today will be the first day that I've done two, so um, we'll see how that goes. I know you're all waiting for a Christmas update, and uh, that won't be today. I've got two videos to do uh, today, so I won't be able to do three, I don't think. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to get a Christmas update uh, for you over the uh, over the um, weekend. But of course, the week to ten day time frame is very much now beginning to move towards Christmas period anyway. So that's kind of like covering the Christmas period uh, anyway. It's just one of those things this year. We just um, uh, you know I've not been very well, and uh, it's just a matter of trying to get the updates back to normal. But it's a slow old process. Been a really really nasty bug. Um, this one. So, uh, anyway, I'll get on with the uh, month head look for you in a moment, and then later on this afternoon, we'll have your week to 10 day uh, video update uh, as usual with all the regular features. So, uh, we're starting off with the JMA uh, 500 millibar height anomaly flow chart from the North Pole and um, Arctic view down. So this is the uh, uh, North Pole of the Arctic just here. Uh, we've got the Arctic itself around there, and the mid latitudes are around here. These are broken down to weekly periods. So the first weekly period will take us from today, the 13th, uh, through to the 20th of December. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. So the weekend actually looks very unsettled with the JMA. Low pressure is dominating to the weather over and to the west of the country. That's a deep trough of low pressure, but we've got extending through the Atlantic into west of Europe. There's a ridge over on the eastern, southeastern side of Europe just here. That's going to be quite a warm ridge. It'll bring up not a very mild air up the eastern side of Europe, I would have thought. For us, it's relatively mild too, as the air is coming in off the Atlantic. But the main thing, of course, is that it's very unsettled. That's a really deep trough of low pressure, so we can expect further bouts of rain in the week ahead. We go through to week two, which is the 20th to 27th of December. It's covering Christmas period, of course. And it stays unsettled. Low pressure continues to be dominated weather coming in off the Atlantic into the west of Europe. Some higher pressure down here. Uh, so kind of like around the Canary Islands. And just beginning to raise the heights a little bit to the north as well. Just beginning to raise the heights up towards Greenland. It's not enough to make it particularly cold. Actually, that's a relatively mild um, sort of scenario going up to Christmas and still unsettled. So low pressure comes in off the Atlantic, but it is having a go at uh, raising some pressure up towards uh, Greenland. And then we're into weeks three and four, which takes us from the 27th of December to the 10th of January. And um, this was quite interesting, actually. We find that the above average heights continue to build to our north. So we've got quite a big blocking feature setting up here with the JMA this week. Uh, for the end of the year and into the start of 2020, we've got higher higher pressure, high pressure sitting uh, to the north of Scotland, around Iceland and going up towards Greenland. Uh, low pressure is out in the uh, northern Atlantic and also covering much of uh, central and eastern Europe. You would think with that we're probably going to be pulling in cold air from the east or the northeast. So it does look as though quite a significant change takes place there with the JMA as we get to the end of December and the beginning of January, going into a much colder pattern potentially, with blocking high pressure really setting up to the north of the country. And I say that will potentially pull in the winds from the east of the northeast, which is going to be a cold direction in uh, January. So maybe a bit of winter here, or hints of a bit of winter anyway, by the time we get through to the start of next year. Let's confirm that with a tropical and mid-latitude view in terms of the temperature and precipitation anomalies. So the UK is in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this view. 
uh, were just there. So we can't see the Arctic and North Pole view, but of course we had a look at that view downwards uh, just now, so we know what's going on on a week-by-week -week basis. So for week one, which is the 13th to the 20th of December, we're looking very unsettled. Low pressure is dominating the weather over the UK and into from the Atlantic into the UK and much of Northern and Western Europe as well. Bringing the jet stream through like that, so it just looks very, very unsettled in the week ahead. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are a bit uh, below average in northwestern parts of the country, slightly above average in more southern and east areas. Very mild week coming up uh, across many parts of Europe, by the way, in those um, sort of dark orange colours. That's as high as it goes on the scale. For us, we are we are sort of uh, cooler in the northwest, milder in the southeast. It's a wet week as well. Precipitation anomalies are continuing to be above average. So I would say a relatively mild but wet week coming up, although cooler in the north. We go through to week two, which is coming Christmas period, of course. It's 20th, 27th of December, and low pressure continues to be coming in off the Atlantic in control of the weather, so looking uh, very unsettled there. Precipitation anomalies, not surprising given low pressure dominating weather uh, above average, so again, quite a wet uh, got a wet week coming up there around Christmas period. Let's hope there's no Christmas floods. And precipitation-wise, still a little bit above average, if anything. So close to average, really. Perhaps a little bit above for the southeast. Again, a very mild week for many parts of Europe. And we're into weeks three and four, and we can only just see the edges of that high pressure setting up to our north. So this is taking us from the 27th of December to 10th of January. Just got that area of yellow just there to our north northwest, but we know that it extends back quite a long way north. Um, going up towards uh, sort of uh, uh, Greenland, Iceland, and that sort of area. Uh, and we thought that would probably bring the wind in, if anything, from the east or the northeast. So you'll think this would be quite a cold, uh, quite a cold couple of weeks. Temperature anomaly is actually close to average, not going for anything particularly cold at this stage. But it's a two weekly anomaly, by the way. So it comes week three and four. So you could have something like week three is relatively mild, week four is much colder and offsetting it, um, they offset one another, if you like, uh, and come out with an average temperature, not something like that could be going on. Because high pressure is building to the north, we're losing the low pressure, it's going drier as well, so the precipitation anomaly there is drier than average for the end of December and into early uh, early part of January. I think that would be a colder and drier period with high pressure setting up to our north. Although the model doesn't really show any particularly cold temperature anomalies, I do think there would be cold potential with that pulling in the wind from the east or the northeast. So potentially drier and colder for New Year. Let's have a look at CFSV2, see how that compares. So again, these are 500 mm of our heights broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 12th to the 18th of December. This hasn't updated uh, today, so this is yesterday's uh, update. Uh, fortunately, we looked at Beijing Climate Centre in yesterday's video, so I didn't show you these charts, so you are seeing them for the first time. But this was updated yesterday, actually. Uh, so the weekend looks very similar to what JMA is showing, very unsettled, blur bridge heights over the UK, much of the North Atlantic, bring the jet stream through like that, so it just looks a very, very, uh, very unsettled week ahead from the 12th to the 18th of December, both bars in agreement with that one. And then we go through to week two, which is the 19th to the 25th of December, Christmas Day, of course. Uh, so a little bit different to what the JMA is showing with this one, um, compared to what JMA shows with this one with this one because we build high pressure up to over and to the east of us and take low pressure out to the west. Um, so that's a much more settled scenario. At this point, the JMA still has things very unsettled uh, around the Christmas period. The CFS is saying that high pressure will become more influential. Probably the model will say mild or very mild. It is dependent whether we bring in a continental feed. If we do, then we could start getting some frost and fog. But otherwise, the model will say it's a mild or very mild week. Uh, then we're up to week three, which is the 26th of December, Boxing Day, to the 1st of January, New Year's Day. And we take the high pressure of the above average heights out to our west. So you will think that starts to bring in some cooler or possibly even some slightly colder air uh, from the north. Not a dry weather, though. 
play pressure is dominating Tim and Weber, so there will be plenty of dry and fine conditions. Um, but I expect it gets a little bit colder. And then we're into week four, which is the 2nd to the 8th of January. It looks very different now to what the JMA is showing. We take the high pressure over to or down towards the Azores. Low pressure sets up around Iceland. And we revert to a west, uh, a west type flow with low pressure wing bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic. So that's a reversion back to uh, westerlies in the new year. At this point, of course, the JMA wants to build high pressure to the north, have the northern blocking. So they're very much in disagreement by the new year. Temperature anomalies with the CFSV2 for week one, which is the 12th to the 18th of December, slightly below average in the north, a little bit mild on average down in the south. That's in agreement with what the JMA show. Notice a very mild week coming up across most parts of uh, Europe as well. Week two goes really mild. This is the 19th uh, to the 19th of December to Christmas Day. Very mild week coming up there, not just for the UK, but for most parts of Europe as well. That's not just a mild week, that's a, a, a quite a warm week, really. Uh, probably a bit overdone. Again, it's high pressure in control. So if that high pressure happens to be drawing in a continental feed, although the model won't see it, down on the surface it could be uh, quite chilly from frost and fog, if nothing else. Week 3 is also mild on average, is 26th of December to the, to the 1st of January. That's as high pressure's pulling out to the west, so you would have thought that'd be a little bit of a cooler week, but if anything, that's still very mild. And then week 4 is also very mild with CFS, so uh, CFS really going to town today with milder than average conditions right way through to New Year. Precipitation, finally, the week ahead is wet. The 12th to the 18th of December, above average rainfall coming up. Week 2 precipitation up to Christmas Day is uh, going to be going just a little bit drier, I think. We're starting to revert to something rather drier as high pressure begins to build over to the east of the country. Week three is close to average. We're losing the signal now as we usually do by the time we get through to weeks three and four. And then week four again, very close to average. Pat seems to being a bit wet and average in the far north of the country, but overall very close to average in week four for precipitation. So we've got agreement for the first week, which is the first thing to say, both looking unsettled for the next few days. So we've got more bouts of rain to come and uh, more uh, more of the uh, more of a deluge of the Atlantic onslaught. So around Christmas, what they're disagreeing. So uh, the CFS wants to build up more in way of higher pressure towards Christmas and keep us very mild. The uh, JMA uh, keeps things un unsettled up to Christmas. Um, and then after, of course, got the big, big disagreements then. CFS continues to look very mild into the new year, whereas the JMA at the very least is hinting at uh, the arrival of, uh, of northern blocking, high latitude blocking setting up to the north of the UK, which, if it came off, would start to pull in much colder winds from the east and from the northeast too as we move into the new year so quite interesting the way they're shaping up as uh, we go to the end of the year and the start of next year uh, with the JMA certainly hinting at some colder times to come into the beginning of 2020 but of course it's very speculative it's week three and four it's a very long way off and uh, these are just a snapshot of what models are showing today it could look very different next week so let's wait and see uh, where things go in the days ahead and of course we'll do jamie friday again for you next week right we'll be back later on with your week to 10 day video update including all of regular features so come back for that then but that's all for now and thanks for watching